Hey and welcome back to another Forex Blades video. So I am in the Chris and this is a stockpile ramp up mission. So we started it before and um, we're now at the end of it and it's been pretty good. And as you can see we've got the uh, the rifles. And as you can see the wildlife is still pretty aggressive. I'm happy with my bolt rifle. Um, it's nice and effective. But anyway, we uh, finished this mission so um, I want to uh, move on and we're gonna do a bit of a house tour. So let's go, let's go. So this house here Excuse the uh, lag with Icarus, it's just a recent patch that I've done, I've ruined it. But anyway, this is our base. So this has uh, been a bit of time. So I'm going to turn off the UI so that we can enjoy the tranquility of our base. So this building over here is a watchtower. And this is our base. So let's go and have a little bit of a house tour. Hence the house tour name. So let's go in and have a look. So at the front here we've got our gardens on the side. One, two gardens. We go into the front. And we've got glass door access to our gardens. And some wolves walking over there. So we haven't planted these ones because we're going to go on a trip to finish the mission. And then we've got our other garden here. Lots of uh, coffee beans being planted. Sorry it's so dark. There we go. So these are our coffee beans. And usually on a sunny day we can see this. But it is a bit dark because of the shelter. Oh, the shelter. So this is our little garden plots. This is just our, our foyer. So you can see here we've got our glass doors covering it. And um, then we've got the lovely main hall. Hello Mr. Wolf. Okay, so in our main hall here we have a beautiful decor. I like the uh, arching steps, they make it a, give it a nice touch. We've got our trophies on the wall. So we've got a few trophies, we've been collecting them. Got all our main essentials here at the front door. And this is our dining hall, where we get to enjoy some food, some lovely food, more trophies, and then we've got our our workbenches here, our cement mixer, a generator, and some lights, and some storages, the old school storages. So then we've got more workbenches on this side. Got the composter for the biofuel, the furnaces, the stationary bench, machining bench, and then we've got our fabricator. So our fabricator is part there. And then up on the second floor we've got some lovely fireplaces which lead into some bedrooms. We've got some lovely bedrooms here. Oh very nice. He's uh this is Chemo's room, he's decorated it with a deer head, very nice. And oh we didn't see his window view. So he's got a window view of the shore with the river. Very tranquil, very nice. He put a door on his house because he likes the doors. And I like how the door smashes the deer in the face every morning. So you see there. He just hated that deer so much he's got to smack it in the nose every time he opens his door. Then we have Ruby's room. Oh. The Ruby's room's got your standard bedroom closet. And then you've got your nice window view of the garden down below. And then you've got a view of the plains here. Nice view of the lovely plains. And then we have over the other side, oh we got the lovely cougar trophies welcoming you. Welcoming you. And then we've got on this side another fireplace. So this is Crystal's room. Oh. Doesn't like those curtains, that's for sure. And Crystal's room's got a lovely view of the river. And then on the other side, a garden and some of the forest that you can see there. Lovely little room here. And then we've got my room. 
There is nothing special. We got a lovely view of the river, which is my favourite. I love rivers. And then we got the lovely view of our little uh, kill bridge. We call this the, the killer bridge, the kill bridge. Um, I don't know if I'll show you in this video, but this bridge, you stand in the middle, they can't get you. And if they get the pillars, it's no big deal, because you got many more. Anyway, so we go to my room, and then we've got the upstairs area. So, this has the fireplace, and the herbalism, the kitchen, the fridge, which does run on one generator, and we've got all the other things. And then we've got this lovely glass uh, overview. It overviews the bridge. It's just absolutely awesome. I do wish the grass glass wasn't frosted. But if you're looking at it from a view like this, this this looks really nice. See the buffalo walking over there while you prepare the uh, the food. You've got a nice view. And then on the other side we have the uh, glass machine. So then you've got the view of down the river. We also got a view of our watchtower. So that's cool. I like the watchtower. We'll go to that in a moment. We're just going to finish doing a bit of a tour here. So we've decorated the beams with some lovely um, fur, some lovely trophies. The trophy bench here, a couple windows, some glass in those windows is very good. And then we have the balcony overlooking all of the territory. And obviously this is like a perfect place to get some sweet kills. And you can just sort of look off the side here and get some nice sweet shots. There's nothing blocking you so it's always very good to get something nice. Some sweet easy kills. Okay, so now these all with glass, and we've got the lovely into the roof part here. I really like this balcony. It's very handy just to get that extra EXP when you're in a storm. Because when you're in a storm, you can't do a whole lot. I'm going to turn off the UI again so that we can enjoy this house with its all its glory. So it is fully lit, as you can see. We've got the lights up there, keeping the nice core of the house. So now we shall go up to the uh, rooftop. We've got a lovely uh, hatch there to go up. And then we've got this lovely um, observatory view where we can also look out all the glass. And if we want to jump out and go get something we can. We've got a door here. Yeah some good views here, some lovely water, mountains, very good. Oh look at that view, that view is amazing, I love that. That's like picture perfect. Screenshot! Okay, so that's that view and uh, now we shall go up to the rooftop. So this is the tower at the top and obviously here you're at the top of the building. It was very hard to get this because we had to put a lot of supports in to get it. But yeah, you've got full full um, range of whatever you want up here. So I'm not so sure I want to do shooting without my cross here. There we go. Nice and precise shots from up here. You can usually get a nice perfect headshot every time. Yeah, this is a nice little guard, like nice little um, tower peak. Um, and we'll turn off the UI again. I'll leave it on actually. Now let's go down. And yeah, so that's basically the house. Um, I'm just going to go out this door because I want to jump down and take us to the next part. What am I looking at? Uh, time? We've got one hour. Well, we're not going to get to enjoy that in the morning because um, the shadow will follow me 
all the way to the tower. No, it stopped. Oh, good. So I just wanted to go and show you guys the tower before night time. This is Chemo's Tower of Resistance. Now, this tower is very well done. I really like it. It's got the tiles, the stone tiles for the entrance. Looks very grand. Walk in. It's almost like a, an Asian style. I do like it. It looks very cool. Okay, I'm going to go inside because there's a beer behind me somewhere. Nice concrete floors. I really like the design here. If you built a base like this, you could easily fit everything in here. And then you've got your stairway up to the first floor, which is surrounded glass. Very nice, very well done. Got these little jumping platforms. So I guess what you could do here is you could go like this. And then you can jump around like Mario. It's cool. Um, but it looks really nice, very very professional looking. You've got your outlook here to, to take a shot at anything that's like coming near your base, your tower. I can't see anything to take an example of. But um, yeah, and then we've got the uh, top of the tower. This is a very sufficient, this is a very well built guard tower, like watchtower. I love it. It almost feels like one of the fire watch towers in, in real life. It's really awesome. Except for this looks like way more sturdy. This building will not blow over too soon. We've got the corrugated steel there for the roof. Um, and yeah, we've got the nice stone tiles on the roof. And obviously the glass, which makes the best of it. And then look at that, we've got our base over there. We can see everything. And then this has a great view over the valley. So yeah, I just wanted to do a bit of a house tour, show you guys what we've been up to in the game. So we don't have much left on the mission, we just have to go and deliver the biofuel and the oxygen, which we have already uh, put together. So that will be done soon, and then we're done on this mission, and we're off to build an even bigger, better base. And next time, let's see how our house turns out. But yeah, I really hope you enjoy this view of our Icarus house. And, you know, this Icarus view is beautiful. Only in single player can I do this, because multiplayer I go down to super low frames. But I mean, this view is just absolutely amazing. Amazing! And I have to take a screenshot of that, of course. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the view, and we'll do more to make an even more impressive house. But yeah, everyone have a great day. Thank you for joining and thank you for coming in and having a look. And I hope you really enjoyed the view on Icarus. I really hope you enjoy, um, I hope you've, if, you've, if you've tried Icarus, I hope you're enjoying it. And I hope that the latest patch isn't causing you drama. But the views in this game, just chilling, relaxing. I mean, look at this. you got the trees, you got the lake. It's beautiful. Anyway, thanks everyone for joining and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.